my best advice really isn't a prescription for any one person other than to think long and hard about how you define success and then go after that success. I had a very great opportunity. In fact, it was a shared opportunity with my husband when we were both interns. Um, within uh, four weekends, we had three weekends in a row that, um, that we were invited to the retirement parties uh, of a surgeon, either in the neurosurgery department or my husband's an orthopedic surgeon. We were invited to retirement dinners of retiring professors of orthopedic surgery or neurosurgery who had had illustrious careers. These were, in all cases, men and men that my husband and I greatly admired. And in every situation, we sat in a ballroom at, at a very nice, well, I think they were all at country clubs, and in each situation, the guest of honor stood up at some point on a podium and thanked his family for the 40 years that he was never home and received some kind of plaque for a wall to hang in an office that he wasn't going to anymore. And so three weekends in a row, my husband and I came home from these dinners and said, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. And a third time, we don't want to do that. So we had the great good fortune of seeing where over-reliance on success or academic success might lead us after 30 years. And we did not define our success in that way. And so the things that were important to us were always different from the beginning. And so we were able to um, enjoy our careers all the way along, not waiting for the top position, not even really so much caring about getting the top position, but always wanting to be doing the meaningful work and feeling that um, the journey really was what counted, and it has been.